Okay, this one's gonna be on uh, gnome shells. Been playing around with it like uh, last week, and uh, here it goes. I'm gonna tell you my inputs on it. So the interface is this: you have the the clock in the middle here, you know, all your stuff. Not really that big of a deal. And if you click on your name, you have this uh, sidebar, and um, this is how it looks like if you expand it. Uh, basically, they have your favorite applications here, and your recent documents here that you can you know access quickly and this is the slimmer version here but you can still access it not a bigger deal there so I'll unhide that now uh, this one is the control center that we all have seen we used this before not a big deal but it's there by default now dig that uh, what else is there oh, okay so this is the, the, the thing that this is how you would navigate and it's called activities up here in the top left corner okay uh, there's a few ways to do to activate this uh, either with the button the mouse button or um, I mean the mouse button the, the keyboard and uh, the high corners okay so the if you want to click the mouse you just click on here uh, if you want to use the the corners you just go all the way to the top it will activate it like that and you want to use the key you just hit the super key and that's how you would see it now when you first activate it you see that all my minimized application uh, is it pops up right here, okay, and you'll see which uh, application that you have running, okay. Now, so this is kind of like a uh, scaling feature, so you see all your open uh, applications, okay. But this one is not better than uh, than the compass one, because l let me show you. Now you can still you know go to that window. Let's say I click on this, you still uh, have it. That's not a big deal there. But the thing is, when you use this this feature that they have, where you see how there's two Nautilus window, if they're related, then you click on this icon here, you're, you right click on it, and you have just the Nautilus uh, windows, okay? Now, if I try to, uh, you know, click on it and open it, let's say I click on this one over here on the right, it doesn't do nothing. It goes back to all the windows, and then you can select it don't like that okay if, if I want to select the window give me that one only so I don't dig that one um, and this another thing down here is um, the recent documents down here on the left side on the bottom uh, it's way too much okay I don't need that many fucking document recent documents you know you see they have a lot here and then you expand it when it says more you have like freaking up to 16 or 17 pages of this I don't really need that many okay so that's pretty much uh, useless to me uh, what else is there all oh, the places here you can you, you can actually uh, drag these folders out like, let's say um, music folder or something right I know what I would have uh, videos there you go and you can drag it out and it will be here see great uh, I kinda dig that but not really that great. Uh, what else is there? I like this one the most uh, because basically I like the searching feature here. So you want to search for something, let's say a GP. You see how it searches for uh, the application in the preference also and in the recent documents. Great. I need something like that by default now, uh, which they don't have. Um, so I, I think that would be a great feature uh, for searching all your uh, your um, you know your, your documents and your programs at the same time. <coughs> uh, so on to the next thing. Uh, I like this one too. It's the shells or the where you add the workspaces. Dig this. Look, you just add it, and you can add as many as you want, <coughs> and uh, delete as many as you want. But you can actually drag these windows just like you would do with, uh, you know, any work, work, uh, virtual workspaces. But the thing I don't like about this is, if you want to delete a window or I mean a workspace that's empty, like let's say this one, you can't delete this one. You have to delete in order. You have to delete this one first, okay, and then you can go ahead and uh, delete this one over here. Don't like that. If it's empty, you know. Let me delete it. You know, it doesn't matter. Don't give me the, the order bullshit. If it's empty, let me delete it. Fix that. Fix that shit, okay? Uh, so, what else is there? Not really. 
nothing left but oh I do like this uh, they fixed the uh, or they made it look nicer I guess is the run command you know you, you you bust this out it looks really nice I really like that wish they have that there right now but other than that not I don't see anything that's um, um, you know the bass here the navigation would probably be the poorest of it all uh, the searching feature will be the greatest of it all uh, in my opinion now if they release this today uh, there's a lot of people who are gonna get mad because this is not faster than uh, what you have right now okay right now my shit is faster than this you know as far as navigation um, bust out my comp is I can do scaling feature I can uh, use my gnome do to access open folders quicker than the shit they have right now look at how you would navigate this this is not for newbies either if you think this is for newbies it ain't okay let me explain why okay because look at Ubuntu okay um, they disable the viewport switching you know how you switch to different workspaces just with the the mouse wheel now how the hell the newbies are gonna know that you have to go oh, up here and do that you see what I'm saying they're gonna get afraid of that just because uh, the viewport switching alone scares them how the hell you think they're gonna react to just this <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, so that's my argument there if they can't even handle viewport switching or control out backspace how the fuck are they gonna handle this shit you know what I'm saying <clears throat> uh, so I would say the navigation is stupid but uh, I, for me, I, I know there's a lot of people who hate this uh, thing here, but I see some good in this, okay? Because if you strip some of these features and put it into a different programs, um, that would probably be great. You know, you take some of these features out and put it into the other software, then I'll say uh, there's something to that. But as far as the navigation here, um, not digging it. And because it's slower, if it was faster, then I would say something different, okay. But the ideas that they have here are very interesting, and his original ideas is always going to be, um, you know, questioned by people that have never used it, or even if you used it, you're not used to it. Uh, that's another thing. So, there's a lot of people going to be turned off by it, that's that's um, common, uh, but. Uh, they do have you know their points to it because it's valid it ain't fucking faster it don't feel like it, you know it's efficient uh, so that's that's the truth there so uh, as, as, far, as far as for me I do feel like I'm interested in what they have like you know as far as the final version so they have like a year to go and I want to see what they can do uh, with this because uh, by default this one right now not not very impressive to me but uh, it's good to play around with it but at the end of the day I don't want to use it uh, so that's it for this one